Hey Cowboys Nation, let's go for another round of news from America's team. Watch until the end so you don't miss any news and sign up to stay tuned for everything that comes out about the Cowboys. Dallas Cowboys named best fit for free agent Pro Bowl running back amid Ezekiel Elliott concerns. The Dallas Cowboys are truly in a do-or-die situation as they prepare for the 2024 NFL season. Head coach Mike McCarthy is a lame duck as owner Jerry Jones declined to discuss a possible contract extension after their loss to the Green Bay Packers in the 2023 NFL playoffs. If McCarthy cannot guide the Cowboys to a deep run in the postseason, he will be looking for a new job in 2025. Three-time Pro Bowl quarterback Dak Prescott, too, is in the final year of his contract, while Dallas Dallas does want to re-sign him, questions about his ability to help them win their first Super Bowl in nearly 30 years, remain, there is no question that the Cowboys are more likely to extend Prescott than they are McCarthy, and a deal can certainly get done yet this summer, but he will have a great deal to prove either way with his 2-5 playoff record. The Dallas Cowboys reunited with running back Ezekiel Elliott. Last season, the Cowboys' leading rusher was Tony Pollard, who had 1,005 rushing yards and six touchdowns. Pollard, though, signed with the Tennessee Titans during the offseason, leaving Dallas without a starting running back. In an effort to replace him, Dallas decided to reunite with Ezekiel Elliott. While playing with the New England Patriots last year, Elliott had 642 rushing yards and three touchdowns. Elliott, of course, was a dynamic run in Dallas for seven seasons before the two sides decided to part ways at the end of 2022. During his first stint with the Cowboys, Elliott eclipsed 1,000 rushing yards four times and won the NFL rushing title twice. His 8,262 yards in a Dallas uniform rank third in franchise history behind Emmett Smith and Tony Dorsett. Can the Dallas Cowboys really rely on Ezekiel Elliott to be a productive running back? In a recent article posted on Bleacher Report, NFL analyst Alex K identifies the most overrated player in the NFL at each position. For running back, he identified Elliott. It's worth noting that Elliott is fresh off a career-worst season with the New England Patriots in 2023. He finished with only 642 yards and three touchdowns on 184 carries, while Elliott is due to make only $2 million in 2024, a far cry from the six-year $90 million deal he signed with Dallas in 2019. He's still projected to play a significant role this season. He isn't likely to face much competition from unproven backups like Rico Dowdle and Deuce Vaughn or journeyman free agent pickup Royce Freeman, which means the Cowboys are poised to feature the NFL's most overrated running back as their starter. While Kay's concerns are valid, it is worth noting that Elliott only played 51% of the Patriots' offensive snaps last season. That was the fewest amount of snaps he played in his career. As the starting running back in Dallas, he is surely to play more, which will, hopefully, hopefully lead to more production. But Elliott is entering his age 29 season, and his career has already lasted longer than those of most running backs. Last season, as well as 2022, could have been the beginning of the end for Elliott's production. If it is, Dallas could be in big trouble. The Dallas Cowboys were named the best fit for free agent running back Kareem Hunt. The fact of the matter is that there is a big question at the running back position in Dallas. If McCarthy is to keep his job and Prescott is to be worth whatever monster salary he gets, the Cowboys need to add a little insurance at the running back position. In a different article on Bleacher Report, NFL writer Christopher Knox suggests that Dallas would be the best landing spot for former Pro Bowl running back Kareem Hunt. While he averaged just 3.0 yards per carry, Hunt recorded 135 rushes, tallied 495 scrimmage yards, and found the end zone nine times. He'll turn 29 in August, but he can still serve as a high-end short yardage or goal line back who isn't a liability on passing downs. After playing on a one-year, $1.4 million deal in 2023, Hunt should also be an affordable late addition. Teams staring down a questionable backfield committee entering the summer should think long and hard about adding Hunt. Hunt would be a solid insurance addition behind Gus Edwards and the oft-injured J.K. Dobbins for the Los Angeles Chargers. He'd make a lot of sense for the Dallas Cowboys, too, who are set to rely on Ezekiel Elliott, Rico Dowdle, and Royce Freeman. Obviously, neither Hunt nor Elliott are surefire starting running backs at this point in their careers. Jones may think Elliott is, but he has been wrong about things more often than not during the Cowboys' long Super Bowl drought. A duo of Elliott and Hunt, however, could be a great addition to McCarthy's offense offense and help him save his job.
But Cowboys C.D. Lamb must be fired up after Justin Jefferson's new Vikings contract. We have our first big NFL news in a while, ladies and gentlemen. After months of discussions, the Minnesota Vikings and Justin Jefferson have agreed to a new contract extension. The contract makes Jefferson the highest-paid wide receiver in the league, with $35 million per year, for a grand total of $140 million. This move obviously benefits the Vikings the most. However, other teams, including the Dallas Cowboys, are going to be impacted by this move. Why? Well, the Cowboys have their own wide receiver looking for a brand new extension. CeeDee Lamb. Lamb has quietly been one of the best wide receivers of this era as well. With his contract expiring soon, both sides are working on a new deal. Considering the career stats of both players, Lamb must be licking his lips at the idea of his new deal, per Adam Schefter. It's important to note that Jefferson's output was done in six less games than Lamb. Does Lamb have an argument to be in the same tier as Jefferson? Perhaps not. However, it's undeniable that the Cowboys star wide receiver is an elite star that deserves to get paid. Jefferson's contract has reset the market. While Lamb might not get $35 million per year himself, he should get something near that ballpark. Aside from the Cowboys star, there are a couple of other names that are set to get a massive extension in the wake of Jefferson's deal. The most notable name, of course, is JJ's former college teammate Jamar Chase. Dallas will now have to figure out a deal quickly before the next wide receiver gets paid and resets the market again. As always, the Cowboys' goal for the 2024 season is going to be winning that elusive championship. They've been looking for that championship for years, but they've encountered a ton of roadblocks. In particular, the playoffs have not been kind to them at all. They have not reached the conference finals in ages, and in 2023, they were booted out by the Green Bay Packers. On paper, the Cowboys have a pretty solid roster. We already mentioned Lamb, who's always been in the running as a top-five wide receiver. At quarterback, they have Dak Prescott. Despite his flaws, Prescott is still one of the better quarterbacks in the league. They also have a top-tier defense, led by Micah Parsons and the returning Trevon Diggs. Unfortunately for the Cowboys fan base, the team did next to nothing this season. Aside from the few draft picks and some rearranging of their finances, Dallas did not make a big splash in the offseason. In fact, they lost some of their key pieces, such as Tony Pollard. In other words, it seems like the front office is confident that this team is good enough to win the chip. Well, the Cowboys only have one choice, don't they? Everyone is currently doubting their ability to win when it matters the most. No one believes in them. If Dallas is truly a title contender, well, they need to prove it this season.